everybody, it's Martin from the Washboard Resonators and on this week's YouTube video we're just going to very simply compare what does a nice acoustic guitar sound like compared to a very nice resonator guitar so you can hear the difference. So thank you again to Jeremy for suggesting this video. We did a video a few weeks ago called uh, Blues Guitar History 1890 to 1940. I compared loads of kinds of guitars uh, for Jeremy and he was saying can you go into more depth just between a simple acoustic and a resonator? Well I'll put that video in the description but here we go. And by the way do subscribe, do press the bell icon, do have a look in the description. You can uh, buy us a coffee and keep helping us make videos by donating. You can join the mailing list. You can find us on the internet with the links. These are all amazing ways to support us. So we will love you forever. So I've got a lovely Gibson L1 from 1929, a very classic blues guitar. You'll see uh, Robert Johnson using one of these in the famous photograph. This is a 1934 National Style O, which again is a very classic cool guitar. Let us just do some sound comparisons first of all. differences are between a, a normal acoustic and a resonator you should hear the normal acoustic is quite mellow quite soft the resonator is very mid focused louder and brasher so I occasionally get asked by people you know do I need a resonator guitar for some things and uh, a, a, an acoustic guitar for certain things I think by and large you could you know they're adaptable you can do anything with either I know people that play gypsy jazz on a Martin flat top and do Delta Blues, they have one guitar. Um, I also know people that play, you know, Delta Blues and swing, um, you know, country music, just on a resonator. I think resonators are quite unique beasts with a unique sound. So perhaps the body material on a resonator, or whether it's a tricone or a single cone, can help, um, you know, you get a more adaptable resonator we have uh, videos, uh, the history of resonator guitars or how to choose a resonator guitar. I'll pop it down in the description, uh, which goes into more detail. But there's no reason why you can't do, say, country. Or swing. Singer songwriter. If you are new to this kind of stuff you, and you may be thinking about getting into a resonator it just gives you a very very basic idea of what the different sounds are if you want to get into it more we have other videos that will help there's loads of stuff on YouTube so in the meantime my name is Martin the band is the washboard resonators do subscribe do check all the links in the description D please do whatever you can to support us as I film this, it's uh, the coronavirus epidemic. We're locked down. We're not allowed out to gig. We're normally professional musicians. So anything you can do is a great big massive help. Thank you very much and bye-bye for now.